so we did the resolution of vectors and saw that if it is a plane right if it is a cartesian plane if it's a cartesian plane then If it's a Cartesian plane, and I have a vector like this, okay, then this can be represented as the sum of two vectors, okay. This can be represented as the sum of two vectors one of the vectors is is this right so so it will be it can be expressed as sum of two vectors and and one of the vectors is is something like that it is aligned in the in the x axis direction either in the positive direction of x axis or in the negative direction of x axis and another vector is is aligned along the y axis either along the positive direction of the x y axis or in the negative direction of x axis we have seen that whenever we sum two vectors so so let us try to understand first of all let, let us say what i did was let us say what i did was from from this tip so even even before we do something right so what it says what it says you first of all draw a kind of line at parallel to the to the y axis and and and, and leave it at that fine now you do what what we did earlier so so now you do what you now you sort of sort of draw let me make it thicker okay so so now i draw a vector like this okay a vector like this and a vector like this so so i have two vectors right and we know that vectors are added head to tail so so we we satisfy that condition that 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 the head of this the arrow part is called the head the head of this vector is is touching the tail of the orange vector uh, that that is the that is the uh, that that is the non arrowed part right so and whenever we have two vectors like this this vector the the vector that join that has the tail at the first vector and the head at the second vector okay and and it's a straight line between them that is said to be the resultant of these two vectors so if this vector is 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 if these if this vector is called vector a right and and this length we can measure this length right say say with the scale let that length be in general i i'm saying in general this length be a x correct a x and and this length this length b b the, the this length be a y right okay 
Now I should not be satisfied by the length. Length is only the magnitude. Magnitude is nothing. Length is nothing but a scalar quantity. I have to assign a direction to it. So what do I do? What do I do? I want a vector in the positive direction of x axis of length ax. Now what does that mean? It means that what let's go back to the let's go back to the scalar multiplication of a vector okay so we defined the unit vector in the positive direction of x axis as i cap right what was i cap i cap was a vector of length 1 in the positive direction of x axis okay and what had we seen? What happens if I multiply it by a positive scalar Ax? The vector, this vector, if this is positive, the length of this vector becomes equal to Ax. Okay? What, what happens? The length of the resultant vector, okay, becomes what? It becomes the length of this, which is 1, multiplied by the, by the scalar by which you multiplied. This is the fundamental of the scalar multiplication. Correct? So what happened is the total length became Ax. What happens in scalar multiplication? Whatever is the length of the vector, that gets multiplied by the magnitude of the, of the scalar. So here the length of the vector was 1, that got multiplied by ax, so the length became ax. That is what we wanted in the first place. I want a vector of length ax. And if this is positive, the direction of axi also remains the same as i cap. Now the, now, now the direction of i cap is in the positive direction of x axis. So that multiplied by the positive scalar keeps your vector direction the same as that of i cap. This is i cap. So we have this vector as ax into, into i cap. Do we understand that? Similarly, this vector is what? This is, I want this to be of length Ay and the direction needs to be the same as the, the unit vector in the positive y direction. So this is what? This we denote by j cap, right? J cap is a vector of length 1 pointing in the direction of the positive direction of y-axis, right? So if I multiply it by a scalar, its length which was 1 gets multiplied by Ay so that the length remains Ay. Get that? The length remains Ay. And if this Ay is positive, the direction also remains the same and that is what I want. So if this, I keep this Ay positive and multiply it by this, this vector becomes this. Did we get the point? So why are we calling Ax as scalar? Ax is scalar. It's a real number. It may be 2, it may be 3, it may be 2.5. That's why we call it a scalar. Ax into i cap is not a scalar, but Ax is a scalar. Get the point? Now what? This Ax i cap, so, so I can say, I have just said that this vector A, this vector A, A is nothing but the sum of Ax i cap and a y j cap so 
any scalar multiplied with a vector a scalar multiplication leads to a vector it becomes a vector you multiply any any scalar with a vector it becomes a vector okay so so i say that this vector has a has now been expressed in terms of of a basic vector i cap and another basic vector j cap so it is said that this vector a is resolved okay a is resolved in 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 terms of i cap and j cap and you can very well understand that any vector any vector in the plane can be so resolved let us try to see so if say i have my y axis like that and and why that let us if my y axis is something like this and my x axis is say something like that right and and i have 1 and 2 and say 3 and 4 and 5 like this okay and and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 Minus four and minus five, right? Like this. Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and and this has one, two, three, four. This has Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and, and, and things like that. And let us say, let us say, I have a vector. Okay, I have a a a vector. Say something like something like. this okay let's see okay now again you do the same thing so so you sort of make this as this okay let's say approximately okay it's approximately like that or okay so 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 let us say my vector is something like this okay and this is the arrow then what happens this and this fine now what happens this is this is composed of a vector in the x axis direction which is like that correct and another vector in this direction right right now what now what this is a vector of length 4 the length is 4 only that the direction is in the negative direction of x axis and we have seen that 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 our basic vector our our, our basic vector is what our basic vector is what our basic vector is i cap right 
now if that gets multiplied by 4 we would get a vector but that vector will be pointing in the positive direction of x axis right it it will start it it will it will point in this direction right now i do not want that to happen right it will point in this direction i do not want that to happen right this this is a vector of length 4 pointing in the positive direction of x axis i want to flip this direction so what i have to, what do i have to do i have to multiply it by minus 1 the moment it gets multiplied by minus 1 the direction of this vector flips right and it starts pointing in the negative direction of x axis the length remains the same that is 4 units so that's why this vector is nothing but minus 4 i cap do we get that now we come to this vector this vector is of length 3 you see that the length is 3 and it points in the positive direction of x-axis it points in 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 the direction of j cap j cap points upwards right so so this has to be just multiplied by 3 correct so whatever is this vector this vector say say a a can be written as minus 4 i cap plus 3 j cap do we understand okay now let us take another vector say say a vector like this okay like this i am normally taking vectors whose length in the x and y axis directions are, are integral multiples of or integral multiples right so so otherwise it can be anything else as well fine so now now what happens what about this vector this vector goes like this I'm sorry it is this right now what happens now what happens in this direction in this direction correct it is composed of a vector in this direction the blue one get that and a vector in this direction say 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 the orange one right right now this vector this blue vector is of length is of length how much this is of length 2 but not in the positive direction of x-axis in the negative direction of x-axis so 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 exactly so it is i cap multiplied by 2 it would have been in the positive direction we multiply it by minus 1 it moves in the in the negative direction and 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 i call this vector say b so my vector b can be written as minus 2 i cap 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 and 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 this is this is a vector of length 4 in the negative direction of x axis had it been 4 j cap it would have been upwards right mm -hmm. and but but i multiply it by a negative okay so you can write it as this okay or or you can you can simplify it to to look like this so it is it can be written as minus 2 i cap minus 4 j cap right okay so this vector b is represented like that okay let us say let us say there is another vector there is another vector which is say something like that right and that is let us call this vector the the vector c okay now this vector 
is made up of this which somehow i had i had already made earlier right so so it is something like like this something like this okay which is which is which is nothing but but this vector right and and a vector in the negative direction of y axis so what happens is what happens is 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 this vector c can be represented as as yes 4i cap minus or, or, or plus j cap multiplied by minus 1 so 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 that is normally i write i am writing those those numerals those vectors with the same color in which i have shown them in the diagram so let me make this orange right so so this is nothing but but 4i cap minus 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 right j cap do we get that correct similarly if if there is a vector in this in this quadrant let us say let us say something like that okay something like that then then it is it is again made up of made up of a vector like that correct and another vector like that correct so so this vector which i call d which i call which i call d vector it can be written as it can be written as as 2i cap is it not it's it's 2i cap plus plus 3j cap right plus plus 3j cap did we see that now it seems as if we have been representing the vectors whose tails are inevitably rooted at the origin what about some other vector which is placed somewhere else do we understand so so what happens with respect to another vector let us say let us say i am i am talking about a, a vector that is that is somewhere here let us say let us say i am talking about a vector that is that is say say somewhere here get that what about a vector that is somewhere here can this not be represented this too can be represented by the same fundamental right because we have seen that we are dealing with free vectors the vectors which remain the same even when you shift them parallel to themselves right understand so so what happens is 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 i can shift them there right so so i start building building starting is starting from this point i start building the vectors in the same manner that i had done earlier right so so what i did earlier was something like that right so so it was something like that that i start from here and and move in this direction right and again i i i sort of start from here and move parallel to the y axis 
and try to build the vector right now now this if you see that this this started at 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 minus one unit right we started at minus one and we ended at minus three so this is this is two in length and this started at two and 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 ended at four so this is also of two unit length so this blue vector is nothing but but minus 2i cap right and this red vector is nothing but but 2j cap right so so this vector which i decide to call the vector e e that can be represented as as minus 2i cap that is the that, that is this vector n n plus 2j cap okay or alternately you, you you can think of it like this okay it is it is sort of like this and you could have shifted this vector here and done the same thing that you have been doing with 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 you, you shift it here and you could have done the same thing that we were doing with the vectors that originated that had their tails had the origin that is one and the same thing correct so so you place it here or you place it there or you place it there or you place it here or you maybe place it here this vector will always be this this will always be this and will not change you understand and why it remains the same fine this is the way in which you you resolve a given vector in in given directions correct